Why should anyone read The Castle of Otranto today? Well, if you enjoy ghost stories, um, if you thrill to the supernatural, and if you're interested in the history of that sort of fiction, then The Castle of Otranto is where it all begins. Horace Walpole wrote what's considered to be the first Gothic novel. And in doing so, he introduces a whole range of new styles and characterization in terms of the undead, uh, the supernatural, um, the whole panoply of the sublime, the whole range um, of terror um, and passion um, and the ineffable uh, really saturates this book um, and then drives it forward. Uh, one sees um, Walpole wrestling with these new forms, uh, these new uh, styles, uh, these new figures in fiction. And in doing so, he really creates a template or an agenda for later writers. And you see these motifs taken up by the Romantic writers, uh, by novelists such as Mary Shelley in Frankenstein, and all the way through the 19th century uh, to Bram Stoker's Dracula, and of course through the 20th century um, in horror films, um, and indeed the whole um, style um, of goth culture that we still have today. It's lasted a very long time, it'll last a lot longer, there's no escape.